what is going on guys welcome to your 11th video and in this video I want to finish laying out the website itself now in my website of course it's 1000 pixels wide and we also are gonna have two main sections we're gonna have a left hand section which is gonna be the links and the main section now right now there's a picture in here and some other little boxes but the key thing we have to focus on is the left section and the main section or the side section in the main section now let's go ahead and work on that uh, side section first and I'm gonna go this go ahead and name this main aside because the HTML5 element is named an aside now let me go ahead and take care of the width first now the width of this is going to be 208 pixels now the width is critical because we have to take note of all these values because between the side section and the main section we cannot exceed the complete width of our wrapper which is 1000 pixels if we do everything is gonna look really messed up so our width is 208 pixels now aside from the width I also want to add some margins to this if it was butted right up against the top of the search bar it'll look a little funny and also if it was pressed right up against the right hand side of this main section it would look funny so that's why I added this little bit of white space here and here on the top and then the right hand side so it just um, separates it and makes it look easier on the eyes so in order to do that I'm gonna go ahead and hit margin top 10 pixels and also margin right which I just can do this little copy and paste trick I learned margin right 10 pixels and like I said that gives that the little bit of space on the right hand side and on the top now after this what I want to do is you might not be able to tell but there's a thin red border all around this and it just makes it kind of pop out a little bit so that's what I want to do now add a border width of one pixel now check this out whenever you have a section like we're creating right now the width is not only the width you determine right here you have to take a bunch of other things into account the first thing is of course the width 208 the second thing is any margins on the left and right so at first you look and we have a margin right of 10 pixels so since that is part of this entire section are now the complete width of this is now 208 plus 10 pixels on the right so 218 so just remember that we have 218 right now now in addition to all of that we have a border that surrounds this entire thing that is one pixel wide on each side left right top and bottom now for the width it's only the left and right so two pixels on a one pixel border so 208 plus one on the left plus another one on the right for the border plus a margin right of 10 pixels gives you 220 pixels total so just remember that we have 220 pixels total that we have to work with right here and that means whenever we create our main section since our total width of the website is 1000 we cannot exceed 780 pixels why because 780 plus 220 right here is going to give us our thousand now the last thing I want to do is float this to the left and what that's going to do is take this and push it up against the left because that's where we want it now that we have our side section created we can go ahead and make our main section now the first thing I want to do is also put a margin on top of here because we already added some space on here in order to get it aligned with this give this one a margin top of 10 so I guess I might as well go ahead and copy this baby right here now I also want to give this a margin bottom if of 20 pixels so let me just go ahead and copy that margin bottom of 20 pixels and that is just because whenever the main section ends I really don't want things um, button up against the very bottom of it or else it's gonna look kinda weird so that's why I decided to give it a margin bottom of 20 pixels and whenever we create the footer and add some links down there you'll see but it's kinda hard to explain now and the last thing I want to do well not the last thing but I want to float this to the left and you're saying whoa 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 this thing is already to the left so why are you floating this to the left if we want it on the right hand side well it doesn't really float both of these things right up against the left hand side it just moves this to the left and then instead of just you know having this float over here or in the middle it just bumps it up as far as it can to the left without overlapping this so they're nice pressed up together like uh, you know fitting the pieces of a puzzle together 
So I'm going to float that left. And the last thing we need to do is we actually need to give this a width because clearly it has no width yet. So remember this. The total width of our website was 1,000 pixels. This main side section was 220 pixels. So the width of this, in order to fit perfectly on our website, is 780 pixels. So just go ahead and remember this, if you don't remember anything else from this tutorial. Not only when you're determining the width of boxes is the width of factor, but also your border, your padding, and your margin. So don't forget all those things. So the last thing I want to do is I actually want to work on this footer right here, which right now there are only three links. But, uh, you know, this might be the frequently asked questions or the contact us might be down here or maybe the terms of use, copyright, all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and just style that right now. Main footer. And the first thing I want to do is add padding top of about 30 pixels. We can adjust that more if or less whenever we start creating our website. And now what I want to do is clear both. Now, if I can type this correctly, what clear both does is it pretty much means no floating elements are allowed on either side of this. So let's say that, um, I don't know, this wasn't 100% width. So something might float to the left or right, but we don't want that. We want the footer to stand out all alone. So that's why we want to clear both since these two elements were floating, just making sure. And aside from that, I want the font size to be a little bit smaller. So let me go ahead and set this equal to 10 pixels. And that is because the footer isn't really a main part of your website. You don't want to get it confused with the main content. You want to clearly see that it's just um, additional information that may be the not most important information, but it's there if you want it. So that's why I made the font size slightly smaller, just for design purposes. So anyways, in the next tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be styling the inner workings of the search box and also all of the buttons for the website. Now I want to mention this before you guys start freaking out that this is taking way too long just for this one file. I know this is taking long to style this one file, but this isn't one file. This is the styling for the entire website. Once we style this stuff, we don't have to style any of this anymore. So there you go. I hope that gave you a little bit of confidence because I know it takes a long time, but you know, it's very important. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and in the next tutorial, hopefully we'll be finishing up this file.